guys, welcome back to EOK TV. I'm delighted to have CZ with me, the CEO of Binance. Welcome. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Uh, how are you finding Delta Summit so far? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's far exceeded my expectations. There's just loads of people everywhere. Uh, it's like very high energy level. Everyone's very excited. It's great. Cool. So obviously Binance has seen explosive growth over the last year. What role do you see Binance playing in the wider blockchain ecosystem over the coming years? Sure, I think basically well, Binance, we just want to be an infrastructure services provider, uh, providing a, hopefully a couple of services in this uh, blockchain industry. So right now we're doing the exchange and we're expanding our scope in the exchange space a little bit as well. We are adding fiat exchanges and we're doing the decentralized exchange. So exchange is going to be our core business going forward uh, for quite a while. Yeah. And we acquired, a, uh, we acquired a very good wallet and now we integrated the team and it's working out really well. So we want to be able to provide wallet, uh, wallet services yeah. and uh, we'll figure, we'll, we'll hopefully add a few other services if we can and we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Cool, okay. Um, so I understand recently you invested in, um, well Binance invested in, in Chili's for example, another Maltese uh, company. Um, what do you look for in potential partners? Like do you look at the team, the growth potential, the ease of integration? So I think basically we look for team who are in this for the long term. So who wants to really set out, uh, keep their heads down, build a really useful product, building value. So it's a little bit generic, but um, uh, we, we look for guys who share our vision, who wants to help build, this, uh, build out this uh, industry, building infrastructure. Um, so yeah, it's basically those kind of projects. Um, so what do you think are the biggest challenges um, that you face in the current landscape and how do you plan to you know, find a way around them? So right now, I think um, a lot of challenges are uh, becoming our internal, like just handling growth. Uh, we're growing very quickly in terms of number of uh, headcount. So we're growing from a small team to a larger team. Yeah. And we're distributing distributed team around the world. Communication is a little bit tough. Um, so, and then also uh, from a, a regulatory, regulatory point of view, uh, we want to help different countries adopt positive, uh, healthy regulations for this industry yeah. so that that can help this industry grow. Um, and other than that, we just want to hire the best talent we can. I think it's basically a talent-driven uh, 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 business. So we just got to get the best people in, do the right thing, and I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, I was speaking to Helen earlier, and she was telling us about the Bitcoin. Uh, sorry, about the Binance uh, Charity Foundation that you guys are going, going on, um, helping you know, um, all, all kinds of different projects. Um, can you tell me what, what, what was the reason behind that? Why you decided that that was important? Oh, sure. So I think basically many years ago, uh, before you got to finish your business, do your business for 40, 40 years and make a lot of money and then move into charity. Uh, but basically, I think today we're moving so fast, blockchain, and, and also we have the financial ability to do that, yeah. given the blockchain's ability to raise money. And uh, given the speed of our growth, uh, we are a profitable business, we are a high revenue business. So I think we want to do our social responsibilities early on as well. Uh, so, and I also think that um, blockchain solves the tra non-transparency problem for a charity very, uh, very, um, very, uh, very well. Yeah. And also, uh, if we are doing charity, then we are we are promoting blockchain to a lot of people who are accepting cryptocurrency as charity. So I think it's a win-win situation. Yeah. So it's a win-win-win situation. So I think it's, very, it's it's quite an easy decision for us. Um, what ideas do you have to make the space more inclusive and to re reduce the barriers of, it, of entry for the wider adoption? Yes, yeah, so, so I think basically uh, everybody in the industry are working very hard to make things easier to use. Right now, that is, that is still a problem where a lot of the things are too technical. Um, so wallets needs to be much easier to use. So we are investing in that area. Um, uh, even exchanges are, needs to be much easier to use. And then uh, uh, I think a given time, the, this industry will, will come to a certain structure so that uh, different products are easier to understand. So I think all of, all of those are happening right now. So we're, everyone in this space is working very hard for, towards it. So Bitcoin, where do you see Bitcoin going? And I don't, I don't mean the price. I mean, where do you think its place is in the wider economy? Sure, I think Bitcoin's main job is to pr prove that cryptocurrency works. Uh, it's a decentralized uh, system. Uh, no one's issuing it anymore. It's mathematically uh, limited uh, supply. So I think Bitcoin did all that. Which, which is great, and people around the world uh, knows about uh, Bitcoin now. And um, and Bitcoin's other mission is basically it's an entry coin. If you learn about blockchain, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin is gonna, probably going to be one of the first that you, you you learn about. And it's relatively simple now compared to some of the other more advanced, complex coins. So it's going to it's going to continue to be the entry coin for new people. So I think the market will be there. It's going to do its job. 
Um, it has a few drawbacks. Number one, like the mar uh, the network is relatively saturated, but now the different solutions, like Lightning networks, yeah. uh, that solves it to some extent. So, I think Bitcoin is going to be there for for a while, and um, uh, we will also see other blockchains developing very quickly now. So, um, smart contracts, faster chains, etc. So, but I think the, this industry will have a lot of growth. And finally, ZZ, um, what would, do you have a message for any of the, the, the Binance community, or your, 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 Binance, your BNB token holders, um, like what you guys are focusing on, uh, any latest updates you can share with us? Sure. I mean, basically, we're working on uh, a number of things. Uh, we are increasing BNB adoption to uh, much, uh, a, a lot more different ecosystems uh, in our partnerships. Uh, we are working on the fiat to crypto exchange, we are working on the decentralized exchange, and we are helping different regulators around the world to become more uh, health, uh, to come up with more healthier regulations in our space. So we are doing everything we can, and we are working really hard, we are non-stop, we just started, we, have not, we, have no, we, have no, we are nowhere near um, comfortable or, or near the end. So we are working really hard, we will we'll keep pushing this industry. Okay, thanks CZ. We're really excited to see you know how far Binance, Binance is going to go in the next few years. Um, that's EAK TV. Uh, thank you.